Do you ever get that nauseous, queasy feeling in your stomach that makes you feel like you just want to uh, vomit? Kidney disease affects each person differently, but nausea seems to be a common symptom. It's not very painful, but it's very, very uncomfortable. This is felt in the back of your throat, on top of your chest, or even in the upper abdomen area. Nausea could be associated with the disease itself or even the medications that we take. When I used to go to dialysis, I was always sick. I had to seek out medical attention because it got that bad. My doctor noticed my weight loss issues and thank God I had a great doctor who was concerned, who asked me questions, tried to figure out what was going on with me. Once he was able to figure out how much the nausea was affecting me, he instantly prescribed Zofran. So if you've taken Zofran, drop in the comments below. Let me know how it affected you. Did it actually help your nausea issues or did it not? For those that don't know, Zofran is a medication that can be taken alone or with food to help prevent nausea and vomiting. It works by blocking one of the body's natural substances that causes vomiting. I remember days where I had to take Zofran three times a day, guys. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, it didn't matter because anything that I ate made me feel like I wanted to vomit. And most of the time, it was the meats. So meats, eggs, anything like that. I just felt like I could not hold it down and I literally couldn't hold it down. Once I got the vomiting under control, I would try different things. So the first one that my doctor said that I can try, which was okay, was taking vitamin B6 supplement. I would just take that in the morning, put it under my tongue, leave it for a few minutes, it'll dissolve, and that was it. The second thing that I would try is ginger tea or ginger candy. I come from a Caribbean household where ginger tea is the number one thing for everything. You got a stomach ache, you drink ginger tea. You got a headache, you drink ginger tea. They use ginger tea for everything and it does help soothe the stomach. So that's what I would use, a nice hot cup of ginger tea. So the third thing that I would try, which was my favorite, was acupuncture. Something about those little needles being put in, it just used to reset my whole body and it definitely helped me with that. The fourth thing that I would try is deep breathing. Um, guys, sometimes we just need that. And when I used to sit by myself and I used to do deep breathing, it just helps me control my mind because sometimes your mind is the most powerful thing. You may feel like you want to vomit, but if you just sit down, close your eyes, and just meditate for a little bit, that feeling just may go away. Fifth thing that I would try is essential oils. Ooh, I love me some peppermint. They always say peppermint looks good for nausea, so I'll put a few drops in my diffuser at nighttime and my whole room that aroma, and it used to help keep me calm, and I never felt like I needed to vomit when that was on. The thing that I would do is I actually would try ginger ale, guys. I know it's not the best thing, but it honestly helps. I try not to do too much of this, but as you can see, it's the mini size, because it's, you know, the sugars and sodas are not good, especially if you're on dialysis, and even if you're not on dialysis. Sodas aren't that great. But for some reason, ginger ale always does the trick when you're nauseous. Sometimes nausea and vomiting requires just a short-term change in your diet. If you manage to keep down anything at all, maybe try doing smaller portions of your food sizes. As I battle kidney and lupus disease, I remember one thing that my dad used to always tell me. He used to always say, honey, try to eat something, anything, because you need energy to get back up and try again. Pick better choices by avoiding the spicy foods, the oily foods, caffeine, and even dairy. Once the nausea has passed, then you can pick up eating your regular diet, but I would recommend going back into it slowly. Ultimately, the best way to treat nausea is to figure out what the underlying cause is. In some cases, nausea may pass with home remedies, but there are some times where you will need to get medical intervention. Another tip is get adequate enough rest and stay hydrated at all times. And visit your doctor if the condition gets unbearable. I stress keeping your doctors informed because there are times where certain medications that you do try can conflict with what you're currently taking now. So guys, I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks that have helped me with my nausea because I know this is a common symptom that we're all facing with at some point in time with kidney disease. All right, guys, so thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, and I just want to say I love and appreciate you guys. All right, I'll see you on the next video.
It's felt in the back of your throat, on top of, not on top. Why can't I get this? So the fifth thing that, Hello? <laughs> That's good. Give me a few minutes. I'll call you right back. Plus the phone's breaking up. I'll call you right back. Money. Did you finish that work, Armani? Okay. We pause that for a minute. I need to say something. Wait. 